Hey, hey, everybody. Julie Burke here, founder of Create Success with Julie.com, coming to you live from a Starbucks parking lot. Of course, where else would I be? <laughs> In uh, my hometown of Chicago. I hope everyone is doing well as you are tuning in. Um, please um, drop me a comment, say hello, let me know where you're tuning in from. And if you're new to Julie Burke, drop me a one uh, so I could personally give you a shout out and say hello. Well, I'm going to turn my car off. Um, yep, I'm going to wait for some of you to come on because today I'm going to be talking about what do you do when people want to diss your um, network marketing business, you know? Um, and so, yep. Hey, Kathleen, how are you? Hey, Mary. Hi, Kelly. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Carrie. Good morning, everybody. Um, yes, and if you didn't see my post yesterday, I um, threw up a post of a small diagram where you could go um, and you could check there when I'm done with this live. But if you want to see first uh, when I go live, um, you could go to following and there's a drop box that comes down and you could just click on see first so you guys know when I go live because I don't go live like at a certain time every single day. Those of you that know who I am, you know, I'm a crazy busy mompreneur and um, if you're a mom, if you're a parent, um, if you're a mom or a dad, yeah, if you're just a parent, you know how crazy mornings and life can be until we get those kiddos off to school. Um, so... I don't go live at a specific time. I tried to. I'm going to be honest. It was very difficult for me. I mainly come on um, in the middle afternoons. So today we're going to be talking about, um, like I said, what happens when people want to diss um, uh, our network marketing company, right? Because it happens. It happens often. And I think for the most part, um, people, they get upset and they get hurt and which is understandable because we have passion for um, our products, we have passion for our company, we have passion for uh, purpose and helping people, right? Um, I want to hear from you though. Drop me a comment and let me know actually why you got involved in your network marketing company. You know, was it for product? Was it for opportunity? Was it for both? Was it for purpose? You know, what was it? Um, and I feel like at times people can get really defensive Expensive. Um, if somebody starts to diss their MLM or network marketing company, now, you guys, I don't like to call it MLM. I know that was a term back in the day. I feel like um, ever since I, I guess uh, Eric Worre became more into the picture and GoPro, he's really helped to change the industry and in thinking that you know we are we are more, we are professionals, right? Network marketers like this is a profession and oftentimes people get started and treat it as a hobby and not so much a profession and then that's where in lies them getting really upset about maybe not doing as well and then they go off and they quit. Or when they start having haters um, you know, come after them and say you're in the pyramid scheme or whatever, they start to have this negative taste in their mouth or they don't like it and then they, they quit, right? And they run from it, which is the worst thing you could possibly do. So you really have to have this strong foundation and understanding of why you got started in the first place, right? And um, sorry guys, I'm getting like a bunch of messages. So again, as you're tuning in, drop me a one if you are new to Julie Burke so I could personally say hello and send you a gift or you could visit create success with julie.com drop in your email and get one of uh, my free resources okay so let's get into it so when people want to diss your network marketing company um, or your MLM basically um, there's 10 key benefits that you could help to further the conversation and you can just turn to them and say listen I just want to understand why um, you feel that way. So again, it's not an argument. There's no need to get upset. Um, it's funny. I had one of my, my Facebook ads running and this guy like completely dissed um, network marketing, completely dissed me. And I had like a ton of people um, like attack this guy on this Facebook ad. And I said, listen, um, it's okay to have your own opinion, right? Like it's okay to have opinions, but don't dis or don't disrespect what you don't know, right? So let us educate you. And really it, that's all you have to turn and say to the person is why do you feel that way? 
And is it okay if I educate you? Some people say no. Some people say yes. If they say no, let them go. Like there's no need to argue. But I want to help you with these 10 key benefits so you understand. So when you are approached by somebody like this, um, you understand some some things that you could, you don't want to say all 10 benefits, right? You don't want to be like, well, it does this and this and this and this and it provides this. Um, but just know a few and know who you're talking to and, and maybe share some things with them, okay? So benefit number one is um, it's a small amount of risk. Now, I think this is a benefit, but I also think that at some times this can be a downfall and I'll, I'll share why. When I own a franchise, um, I invested $750,000, I was 22 years old, into this franchise. Now, I invested a ton of money, so there was a huge risk. And so, what, did it, what do you think I did? I lived there, like I had, there was no option, I had to make it work. I had to make it work because it was a lot of money, um, I owed a loan and I had to pay it back, right? So if it went into the toilet, I, then I was out $750,000. Now, I feel with network marketing, even though it's a small risk, which is good, people often don't treat it as a profession, right? They treat it as a hobby because they, they maybe put some money into their kit and then they said, okay, well, again, you know, I'll use the products, but if this doesn't work for me, it doesn't work for me. So they already have that mentality. Do you, does that make sense, you guys? Like that mentality um, is absolutely what you don't want your new people to have, okay? So that's why we have to help create the vision for them. All right, so small amount of risk. Um, so, you know, of course, there's a certain amount of risk when you get involved in being an entrepreneur and you know, we're confronted with losing money and wasting time and, you know, not being in profit right away. Now that was the traditional brick and mortar business that I was talking about. Um, but here the advantage of starting a network marketing, um, inside a network marketing is again, I guess you could look at it as a benefit is it's a small risk and people, if they know something's a small risk going into it, they're more apt to take action. All right. So that's number one. Number two, um, a huge demand for good quality products. Now, I'm going to be honest. Like, I started in network marketing five years ago. It was my very first introduction to network marketing. I fell in love with the product. I was looking at the opportunity. Fell in love with the product. I thought it was great. And um, it didn't stop there, though. Like, I have accounts in other network marketing companies for the quality of the products. I have skincare. Even though my company had skincare, um, I'm no longer with that company, but even though they did, like I still use their product, even though I'm not with them anymore. I still use their skincare, um, but I also had accounts uh, with other skincare companies and the oils and um, travel. I mean, it's because network marketing is so looked upon by um, the FTC and the FDA and all that, that they're going to make sure that they have top notch quality products. Okay. Um, so just think about it that way, um, that there's a lot of crap out there. And so for network marketing, you're talking about some really good quality products. All right. Three, uh, residual income. Now I'm sure, you know, people pay for their gas, um, people pay for their electricity, their phone bill every single month, right? These are the types of services that for the most part provide an ongoing stream of residual income. You're residually having to pay for this. So the advantage of network marketing is, you know, most people are so used to trading their time for money in corporate America. Now, I always say with network marketing, um, you build it once and you get paid for life. Now, there's a lot of work that goes into that. So don't like, let's not have it be this misconception. You're not going to get started in roll two and become a millionaire. Okay. That's very, very rare. And we don't want to give that off to people. However, if you grind it out and you hustle for that first couple years, I'm telling you, it can be very, very rewarding. Um, when I started my online business, there was a lot of money I had to put towards it. I had to build a website. I had to have mentors and training and all this. Like, I'm talking multiple, multiple, multiple thousands of dollars. I did not have to take out a loan for that because I bootstrapped my own business, meaning I was pulling from what I was already creating residually 
thank God, in my last network marketing position to fund my online business. Okay, does that make sense, you guys? So I just wanted to put that out there as well. Um, so residual income, as you know, is can equal to freedom. Can literally equal to freedom, but it does not happen overnight. So let's not, like I said, have misconception there. Okay, for um, number four, um, the income potential that we can create, there's no cap on it. So you definitely want to make sure that you're with the right company um, in regards to, I think a bug just flew in my mouth, <laughs> to like not having a cap on your income. Um, I know that there's some network marketing companies out there. There's some direct sales companies out there that I've talked to other people where there is some sort of a cap. Um, just make sure you're with a company that really offers um, the chance to grab new positions as you continue to grow. You don't want to be capped, but I'll tell you with Corporate America, right? What happens? We get that thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar a year job or even hundred thousand dollar a year job and you could go and get the salary, which is great, work crazy amount of overtime and you're not paid for it, right? So you get paid for your efforts and the efforts of people that you bring in to your network marketing business. Okay. Um, number five, which I absolutely love, no employees to hire. As you heard my story about the franchise, um, I always say I ran a um, an adult daycare. I ran an adult daycare with my franchise. Let me tell you, um, if they didn't show up, who had to show up? If they were sick, guess who had to show up? Um, I was at my franchise from morning until night um, pretty often. And so having no employees hire, being able to actually run your own home-based business, it's really, really cool because you get the time to really spend by yourself to work, but then you also have this team environment as well so you can work as a group, right? But again, they're not your employees. Like if they are not producing, um, that is not uh, that is not on you, right? Like you gotta be there for them. You gotta guide them. You gotta plug them into the training and the tools and the events. Um, but they are not your employees, all right? Number six, no inventory. I cannot tell you with my direct sales company. So after I had my franchise business, I sold it and, and got into direct sales, okay? Um, I had to spend like, I think it was like $1,000 on product that I literally had to schlep from party to party and I freaking hated it. I'm not going to lie. I hated it. I hated that I had to keep buying inventory. I, I couldn't stand, like it was stoneware, you guys, stoneware and candles and frames. And I, <laughs> if you've been in direct sales, you know what I'm talking about? Oh my gosh. Like crates and crates and crates of all this heavy stuff that I'd have to set up at the home parties and literally take an hour to set up and display, look beautiful, do my whole presentation and then literally just stand there and wait for people to order or not order as they were sitting there gossiping and drinking their wine. Like, awful. In network marketing, honestly, I order my product and that is it. Like, there's no sampling. If the people want to sample, they buy the product and they get the 30-day guarantee. So understand this. If you're sampling, you do not need to sample. You turn to your, your person and you say, listen, we have a 30-day guarantee for a reason. Use it. Okay, go buy what you want and use it, all right? Um, seven, uh, low operating costs. I mean, honestly, like I just said, I get my product, I eat my product, and that's it, right? So there's really no operating costs. I have my laptop, my desktop, and my phone, as you can see here. And I've literally built uh, four six-figure income streams utilizing my phone. Like, it's absolutely crazy. So if if you too are utilizing your phone to build a big business, drop me a two. It's the most amazing thing ever. It's the best technology out there is the phone. Drop me a two, okay? All right, we're almost to the end. Um, number eight, um, uh, leverage. Leverage. I mean, honestly, you <clears throat> you reap the rewards by leveraging the, the efforts of those that you help. So you need to have a system. Okay, um, I recently was pushed out of my last network marketing company. I don't want to get into that. So um, I did end up finding a different home. And one of the greatest things is we have a dialed in 
online Facebook system. No joke. So guess what? I am completely leveraged. I just follow step one, step two, step three, they order. Step one, step two, step three, they order. It is the best thing ever. So if you are not utilizing Facebook or some sort of social media platform to leverage your time to get people the information so you're not having to spam links and send links and you know, getting on the phone all the time. I'm not on the phone at all. I don't do anything over the phone. It's all through Facebook and Facebook Messenger and it is absolutely freaking amazing. Um, so you have to dial in a system to leverage your time, okay? Um, but that's something you could say to people once you have this system set in place, leverage. And then um, uh, number nine, portability. What I mean by that is, again, the technology side of this, right? So we don't have to carry around, again, uh, brochures, um, catalogs, business cards. If you are, stop. Like, you don't need to be doing this. Number one, business cards, throw them out the window. You want to get somebody's information. If you do meet somebody out and about, cool. Get their information. I usually friend people on Facebook, and I tell them I'm going to send them a message through Messenger. It's the easiest way. No one wants to talk on the phone anymore. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, it's through Facebook or you could text them totally fine. Um, but all that other stuff, like you don't need it. Leverage the technology, leverage what you have. Um, because it is portable. I can build my business anywhere in the world. And so can you when you start using this. Okay. So it's something else you can, um, it would be very appealing to somebody to, to say, listen, you can literally live a laptop lifestyle with network marketing. Okay. And then 10, 10, the most important thing at all, attain, obtain freedom, right? Um, you have to believe, number one, that you could create freedom inside of network marketing. And um, you, it, is, it is work, right? Like, I don't want to sit here and say it's not work. There's a lot that goes into it. Um, but it's not just about the money. It's about fulfillment. It's about feeling a greater purpose. And um, that's missing. That's missing for a lot of people. A lot of people are walking around and sleepwalking through life, not feeling fulfilled. And that's the saddest thing to me. Um, I don't know how you feel about that, but to me, to, to know that there are people out there that feel um, that they're not you know, able to make a contribution or, the, or they're not able to really live the life that they fully desire or, or dream of, um, it's, it's up to you to help them to dream again. Okay. And so I hope that I know that was a lot. I hope the 10, 10 benefits, the 10 key benefits really help you in your conversations with people. You could go back. Um, that's the great thing about Facebook live and watch this again and take some notes and write it down. Um, again, the wor the, the last thing I want to see you do is get into, um, an argument or feel hurt when people diss, uh, network marketing. Um, you have to, you have to first believe within and nothing else really matters. Okay. Nothing else really matters. You just have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in what you're doing. Um, you have to believe in your company. If you don't believe, if there's a lack of belief in any area, you have to work on that. So if you don't feel like you're at home in your current network marketing company, then find a new one. That's all I could say, because there's a ton of really awesome ones out there just find one that really speaks to you. I've actually spoken to a lot of network marketers this past year that don't feel aligned with what they're currently doing. They don't want to do maybe what their upline's telling them to do. They don't, they don't really feel um, passionate about their product. And I'm like, why are you staying, right? Um, so first off, first off, you have to feel passionate about what you're doing and you have to want to make um, a, a, a greater impression on others in regards to not convincing but just helping them to, to understand what, what it is, like what we do, right? And what they're capable of doing and help them to just, like I said, just really just dream again, all right? Um, so you guys, that's it for today. I know today was a little bit longer than my normal trainings. Um, I will go back and answer any questions. If you found value, please share it. Um, I feel like we're all on this journey together. And um, as always, I just want to help you live a life full of joy, purpose, and freedom because that is what is truly all about. All right. Uh, any questions, drop me a comment. Again, if you found value, share. And as always, be blessed. Bye for now.